Well, hello, good people. It's been a really long time since I've uh, reviewed a full tower and enclosure. I mean, <laughs> do I even remember how to do it? How about we start with some B-roll? So what you're looking at is a new fractal design enclosure, the Torrent. What can I say? We've been asking for something totally different and unique from fractal design for years, and I feel like they finally delivered. In short, if you're looking for a roomy, full tower, airflow focused slash water cooling focused enclosure, you've come to the right place because the Torrent delivers on exactly that promise and the temperatures, as you'll see, are best in class. <laughs> but the thing that I'm interested to know is that are people actually building computers right now? Like, are you guys thinking of upgrading your tower or are you doing a completely new system? Let me know in the comments. And it's one of the reasons why I haven't been excited about reviewing full towers, mid towers. That's why I've been kind of focusing on ITX so far because I feel like the ITX market is growing and there's a lot of potential there, uh, but Full towers don't excite me as much because I'm not that type of builder. And the torrent is still in that space, right? Like you have a lot of unused room on the interior if you're doing something very basic, but it does have a lot of potential. So let's take a look right after this. Come on, it's easy. You just have to catch them. Man, my reflexes suck today. I need more speed, have no fear. 360 Hertz is here with the awesome fast IPS panel that will make you get good. Uh -huh. The PG 259 QNR monitor comes with a regular stand and this awesome ROG desk mounting kit to free up some real estate, has built-in NVIDIA Reflex Latency Analyzer to give competitor gamers an accurate measurement of system latency. Wow. And of course, it's G-Sync equipped to minimize display stutter and input lag. Get the proper speed to catch all the frames. Check it out below. So let's first start with the design, shall we? It is totally different, very much unlike what Fractal Design has delivered in the past. I love the front panel ventilation pattern. It looks a bit like a building. It's kind of abstract, it's unique. I love it. It also has some metallic accents in terms of the, the gray on the white model especially, but keep in mind, this whole front panel is plastic. Now keep in mind, unlike on previous cases, the front Fractal logo is not the handle to remove the front panel. So don't do what I did and peel off the logo. Instead, this whole front panel is completely toolless. You simply pop it out. Behind it is a fine dust filter that is easy to remove for cleaning. And I really appreciate this whole toolless, convenient approach to dust filtration. And also we have this massive dust filter at the bottom as well that is removable from the front. So it's easy to clean. The same toolless approach applies to both side panels. They are simply removable with pegs and can also be secured up top if you are traveling with the case and don't want them popping open. In terms of color options, we have black, white, and gray with different side panel options and RGB or non-RGB fans. I really like the white model. The black model is kind of boring, but one interesting difference between the two is the surface material texture. So the black model is very smooth, while the white one has much rougher texture and you can hear that with a sound sample. Also, the white model has some color discrepancy between the plastic white and the metallic white. But overall, it's a beautiful photogenic enclosure because of that front panel. But let me know if you agree. All right, so the IOs up top, dual USBs, power reset buttons, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, plus your audio jacks on the side there. And when we remove the top panel, this is where you can see the difference in the format of this enclosure. So we still have a left facing side panel, so all your components are there, but the power supply is now up top in this very ventilated compartment. And when we look at the interior, this is a pretty dramatic departure from our traditional case layout, right? So there's no power supply shroud at the bottom that has been taken over by ventilation and fans at the bottom to help with GPU cooling and deliver uh, all that fresh uh, intake on the interior. We have the small power supply chamber up top and the main motherboard area that can hold up to EATX motherboards and lots of lots of room for all your water cooling activities, including pump and reservoir combos on the side there. So in terms of airflow, this thing has a lot of potential, both from the front and from the bottom, but the default configuration with three 140 mm fans at the bottom and two 180 mm fans for intake is absolutely insanity. And you'll see why it's a chart topper in terms of 
out of the box default cooling. Looking at the back, here we have our storage configuration. So four SSD caddies and two three and a half inch drive caddies in their traditional configuration. Given we have five fans pre-installed out of the box, it's smart for Fractal Design to include a quality fan hub that supports up to nine PWM fans, all controllable either through your regular SATA port or connect that into your CPU port on the motherboard for PWM fan control. I love that. I find it really strange though that none of the fans are routed into the fan hub by default. You know, the cable is just like dangling around for you to connect them into. I mean, sure, if you have more than five fan headers on your motherboard, you might as well connect them into, but it makes sense for you to use the hub that's there by default. And so in terms of your basic airflow configuration, we have so much extra space to work with. And if you're into that, if you want to have a bit of that non claustrophobic feel inside your enclosure, this is a good approach. Uh, one that does not need any fiddling around. And also because we have that very tiny power supply chamber that is reserved for the top, we have all that extra room that is being cleared out from the bottom. The motherboard, for example, is spaced out high enough to not interfere with any of your bottom fan configurations. Even if you're going with a 120 mil radiator and a set of fans, it should still be fine. As far as the power supply installation goes, everything is pretty straightforward. All the cables are maintained in their own chamber. And even though that whole um, basically power supply shroud is pretty open in terms of ventilation, you don't really see any of those cables poking out. I also appreciate that we can cable manage the power supply cable that now exits from the top. So this way it can seamlessly run down the back of the enclosure without sticking out. Now, a few interesting things to mention about the torrent. Number one is that we have a few fill ports at the top. So if you are going the water cooling route, those are very handy to have and they're also nicely accessible. Number two is that because the power supply is installed at the top and if you're going for like a massive GPU, I actually did not have enough length on those PCIe cables for me to route them from the bottom grommet uh, and to pass underneath the GPU fans and you know clean the exit, which is why you see kind of an ugly mess of cables for the GPU. For number three, we have this ARGB strip in the power supply section to give us a little bit of the glow uh, for this particular model, but also the RGB model that has the RGB fans and they really just shine all over the place, which looks stunning, but I really love the understated white model and that strip uh, for air HB illumination that you need to connect within a five volt addressable header into your motherboard. Otherwise it does not light up. And so when it comes to cooling performance, Fractal Design is smart here to include such high quality, um, large fans at the front and also those three 140 mm fans at the bottom for best GPU possible out of the box. And that is why the Fract Design Torrent is a chart topper versus everything else that I've tested in the last couple of years. Of course, the sound profile with everything at full blast is a little, is a little high. But that is of course why we have the fan hub and why you should use it to reduce the RPM and give you, you know, a bearable noise level. So what to say in the conclusion for the Fractal Design Torrent? It's exactly what you would expect from an airflow focused enclosure in terms of proper dust filtration, roomy interior, and fantastic out of the box cooling with those fans included. I feel like the design change complements Fractal's rebranding into something a bit more modern, away from like, the defined stale series. And the reconfiguration of the interior layout helps tremendously in delivering that cool air for the GPU, which is a very smart move. Now for the price point of $189 for the basic models and $229 for the ARGB models where the fans are all ARGB, it's a little expensive when you take into account the Lenko 2 mesh, sells, sells for 99 bucks, the Fantex P500A, for example, also in the same price category. So paying almost double the price for the torrent, what to say? You are paying for the convenience factor, which is appreciated in a really simplified uh, assembly procedure, like, uh, you know, no stress, no hassle whatsoever, but I feel like it's still a little bit on the pricey side and not super competitive, especially given 
the cases that are almost half the price give you just as good cooling performance with like a few degrees compromises but this being a chart topper i guess perhaps it maybe that's what they were going for they're like we're gonna be the best cooling case uh for 2021 might as well charge for it you know but what do you guys think of the torrent let me know in the comments would you pay 189 dollars for it i love the white model but still it's way too large for me i can never occupy all that interior space with anything even if i'm water cooling but still the water cooling route is a different one for sure i'm dimitri thanks so much for watching check out this other relevant content subscribe for more i'll talk to you in the next video